today I have got some practical sermon preparation tips for you. You may or may not be a preacher or minister or teacher of any kind, but I'd encourage you to stick around. Maybe you'll find something useful in this video. I have an opportunity this week to be preaching at our students Wednesday night. And then next month, I'm going to be preaching on our Sunday morning service. And so kind of working on some sermon prep and some different things like that. And that kind of got me thinking that, uh, you know, there's there's some tips that different people shared with me along the way and some things that, that I kind of figured out um, over the years as far as preparing a sermon and preaching a sermon. Those are two kind of different things. They go hand in hand and both are very important, but there's a lot of preparation that goes into preaching and delivering a sermon that you feel God has put on your heart. So today I've got three practical tips for you as you're preparing a sermon, things that will hopefully help you when you get up on the stage or behind the pulpit to preach. Now, I am definitely not an expert preacher or anything like that, but I do have some experience and I have some things, like I said, that I have learned along the way. So hopefully these tips will, will help you if you're a young preacher or thinking about going into the ministry. Um, you could ask 10 different preachers, how do you prepare? How do you uh, get ready for a sermon? What are some tips that you could share? And you would probably get 10 different answers. Everybody kind of finds their own system. Everybody kind of finds their own routine. I made a short talking about these three practical tips, but wanted to dive in a little bit deeper. So if you came to this video because of the short, please leave a comment down below and just say short. And that lets me know that that's how you got here. But no matter how you got here, we're glad that you're here. So let's get into the three tips. So the overall ministry tip that I talked about in the short was to know your sermon. Before you get up on the platform, know your sermon. And then I wanted to break that down into three points in this video. And the first point is to know your points. Know what you're going to talk about. Know how you're going to talk and the key things that you want to talk about. Know what your scripture references are for each point. Be able to not just quote them, but hopefully know where they're found. Uh, don't just find something good in an article or in some research and go, oh, that's a great verse. I'll try to quote that or read that when I get up there and be unfamiliar with it because then you get nervous and, you know, it just, it helps to know your scripture references. Know what translation you're going to read them from, things like that. Know what quotes you're going to do. If, if you've got an illustration, know how that fits into each point. So it's important for anybody that gets up to share God's word to know your points. Know what it is that God wants you to be talking about. The second tip is to know your transitions. So if you're moving from point one to point two or point two to point three, how are you going to transition? Are you going to kind of sum up or recap point one and then move right into point two? Or are you just going to say, and now my second point, that's not bad. But if you are prepared and working through your points and you know and you've come up with a good way to kind of transition, then it makes it much smoother and it makes it much easier for whoever's listening to follow along. Sometimes it's easy to get stuck in a point because you're talking about something and you just kind of keep, keep talking and keep talking and keep making the same point over and over and, and you have to, okay, stop, go to my notes. Okay, I'm done with that. I've said everything I want to say. Now I need to move in and then you just go, okay, and for my next point, let's talk about this or verse seven and you just, you move along and that's okay. But if you have prepared a simple transition and however you're going to do that and different preachers do that differently, I kind of like to re to summarize what I just talked about and kind of, there's a main point line. I just kind of try to say that again and then move into the second one. It just helps me, even if I don't know exactly how I'm going to say it, but if I have a sentence or a phrase or something to start that transition, that helps me in my mind as I'm on stage. I know this is what I'm going to say when it's time to switch over to the next point. So tip number two, know your transitions. So tip number three in knowing your sermon is how are you going to land the plane? In other words, how are you gonna wrap it up at the end? I heard a preacher say one time, he always tries to prepare from a standpoint of how am I gonna put a bow on it, right? I've done all this presentation, I've done all this planning, but I have to end well. So many times in preparing sermons, we really focus in on the hook at the beginning. We focus in on what was really gonna grab somebody's attention through the text, through an illustration, through a question that we pose. 
And so that's good, we, we wanna get them in, but we also wanna get them out, right? We wanna know how are we gonna land the plane? How are we gonna bring this thing home? And yes, I know that the Holy Spirit plays a huge, huge part in this part of the service. But in my experience, I would rather be planned and prepared and know where I'm going and allow the Holy Spirit to call an audible and totally change my plans to His plans. Are you gonna call up the worship team for a response time? Are you gonna invite people to come down and pray? Are you gonna call counselors forward and give them some instructions? Are you gonna walk people through the plan of salvation? Whatever it is, have a game plan how you're gonna wrap up the sermon. Hey, thank you so much for watching this video today. Hopefully those tips will help you in some of your sermon preparation. If you like ministry tips and stuff like that, I encourage you to check out this playlist over here of some of my ministry tip shorts. Or if you want to watch this video, this is one of my videos that YouTube thinks that you would like. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you click right here in the middle and subscribe to the channel for more content like this. Thanks a lot. Until next time, walk humbly.